Hi, welcome back. Today we're doing this washcloth. This is one version of the herringbone stitch. And usually when we think of the herringbone stitch, we might think of this pattern. Uh, but this is only beautiful on one side. If we turn it over, it's not that pretty. It won't work for a washcloth. So I used this one and this is very firm in the texture. And when cotton gets wet, it expands like crazy. So it's good to have a firm pattern but it's also very flexible because I used a thin yarn. I used this cotton yarn. It's 100% cotton and in a size 8.4. And then for a crochet hook, I used this three millimeters. And then you will also need some scissors and a tapestry needle. So this is very easy. It's actually just half double crochet it's done a little bit different. Let me show you. Remember to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell if you want to be notified. To begin this, we start with a slip knot. So make a loop with your yarn, take your yarn behind the loop, and then grab your yarn from the middle with your crochet hook. Then we chain. So we yarn over and pull through the loop. And this is one chain. We yarn over and pull through. Yarn over, pull through. Be careful not to do this too tight. Just relax and yarn over and pull through. This chain is the foundation of our work. And we will be working in these chains in the next row. So we simply just yarn over the needle and pull through. I make 50 chains for my cloth and it has become 21 centimeters wide. So you just chain up the number you want. I, my cloth a little bit small uh, for for the usual cloth, but I like my cloth a little bit smaller. But you can use any any number you want. I think most people do 60 chains, but I do 50. But this is just a little sample size, so I will stop here. You can just go ahead and make the change you want, but I will move on to the next one now. For the next row, we begin in the third chain. So the one on the hook this loop never counts as a stitch. So this one is your first, this is the second, and this is the third. And we will be working in the third stitch. For usually when we do a half double crochet, we yarn over and insert the needle. And we will also do this right now. So go ahead and yarn over and then we insert the needle in the third stitch, in the third chain. Then we grab the yarn and pull through the chain. So we have three loops on the needle. Usually we will yarn over again and pull through, but now we will pull through one more. So we have two loops on the needle and then we yarn over and pull through the rest. And this is a herringbone stitch. I will tell you again, we yarn over, insert the needle in the next stitch, then grab the yarn, pull through the stitch and pull through another stitch and then we yarn over and pull through two. Again, we yarn over, insert the needle into the chain, grab the yarn, pull through and pull through another. And then we yarn over and pull through two. Again for this next stitch, 
yarn over insert the needle in the next stitch grab the yarn pull through one and pull through another yarn over pull through two so this is what's what the herringbone stitch look like on the first row we yarn over insert the needle grab the yarn pull through one and pull through another and yarn over pull through two yarn over insert the needle yarn over pull through the stitch and pull through another sometimes it's a bit hard pulling through the next one but it's doable and we yarn over insert the needle in the next stitch yarn over pull through one and pull through another yarn over pull through two yarn over insert the needle in the stitch grab the yarn pull through pull through another and yarn over pull through two yarn over insert the needle and do your herringbone stitch I will just continue for the rest of my little row. I'm almost done. And I assume you just did a little practice piece to practice the, the pattern before you make a real piece. But I will just show you that this is the last stitch. This one out here, this is your slip knot that doesn't count as a stitch. So this is your last stitch. And we will also do a herringbone stitch in this one. So yarn over, insert your needle in the last stitch, grab the yarn, pull through one, pull through another, yarn over, pull through two. That's it. So now we did the first row and we will move on to the second row. We will chain two, one, two and this we do the, this you have to do every time you turn a row you chain two and then you turn and when you begin the next row we skip these two chains so we will be working in the first stitch from the chains so actually the third stitch on top so this is your two chains and this one is the one you will be working in. And we will do the same thing for the second row. So we yarn over, then we insert the needle in the third stitch, grab the yarn, pull through the stitch and pull through another, then yarn over and pull through two. And for the next stitch, we yarn over, insert the needle in the next stitch, grab the yarn, pull through one, pull through two, and then yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, insert your needle into the next stitch, grab the yarn, pull through one, and the next one, yarn over, pull through two. So this is actually how you do. You will just continue doing the herringbone stitch. Remember to chain two before you turn the work, but just do one herringbone stitch in each stitch until you think your cloth is, is big enough and you're done. And that's it. It's actually quite easy. I hope you liked the tutorial. If you did, please press thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I hope to see you again soon. Bye!